OCR or optical character recognition is one of the most common use cases of generative AI. You will find many tools online which are now offering a lot of products around this OCR but there are very few which offers a multilingual document OCR. Surya is trying to be one. Surya is a generative AI model or tool which strives to offer you accurate line level text detection and soon they will also be offering text recognition, table and chart detection. As you can see on your screen, Surya has done OCR in terms of text detection with the help of boxes. So as soon as this PDF or um, text images was given to Surya, Surya was able to identify the text and it highlighted it in terms of boxes. In this video, I am going to show you how you can locally install Surya and then do the character recognition simply with the Python code. You can run Surya on CPU, but I would suggest that you should at least have one GPU so that the performance would be good. So let's get started. I'll be using my Ubuntu system for this locally. This is my local Ubuntu terminal and I'm using Ubuntu 22.04 and OS is updated and upgraded. Let me clear my screen. This is how you install Surya by just doing pip install surya-ocr. So let me run it. It is going to install a lot of stuff on the local system. So let's wait for it to finish. That is already done. That's cool. Now we would also need a pillow. So let's quickly install pillow. I think I already have pillow, but let me quickly check. Okay, pillow is there. Maybe I'll just upgrade pillow just to be sure that it is supporting Surya. Okay, it is already upgraded. That's cool. Now let me fire up my Python interpreter. Okay, so Surya is installed. Now in order to, for example, if you want to do OCR and image, we are going to do it with this Python code. First, let's import image uh, function from this uh, pillow. Then let's import the inference with batch from Surya, which we have just installed. And then let's load the model and processor, the Surya I mean. That's done. And now let's specify our uh, image. Let me do that. I already have uploaded a PNG image with um, some of the text. It is just one of the th my YouTube thumbnail. Hopefully it will be able. Okay, so yeah, it is there on my local system. Now let's load the model and the processor. It is going to load the model and you can see how uh, small and how compact the tensors are. It's already done. And now let's do the predictions on it, which means it will detect, uh, it will do the text detections and create a JSON file. And that's done. Let me print the prediction. There you go. So it has all, it has predicted uh, it has given you all the coordinates of the boxes that were exactly this um, text, did, text is in the image. Another good thing about Surya is that you can also run it from the command line. So for example, you can simply run Surya underscore detect and then whatever your image is and dash dash images. Surya is going to detect it and it will create a destination image too or target image too. So it has already done it. So let me quickly do ls ltr. So this ga.png was my original. And if you go to cd results, cd surya, and you can see that it has created uh, an image with the box. And I think this is the original image. And it also prints it in JSON format, which we saw earlier when we ran it from the Python. So let me quickly show you how it looks like in the browser. So let me take you to my images, original and the generated one, which it has shown here. So this was my original image and this is what Surya did. You can detect, uh, you can see that it has detected the text within the images and it has put a red border around it. And if you look at the model size and how quickly it was able to do it. It is simply awesome. Really, really impressed by Surya. Amazing stuff.
from uh, these researchers and creators i'll be of course playing it more and you can imagine this is just open source free you can just simply go in and do uh, embed it in a lot of your applications and i really can't wait uh, for them to release text recognition and also table and chart detection i think that will be out of this world also just a fun fact surya is named after the hindu sun god who has universal vision and um, amazing stuff so really hats off to these researchers who have done a great job that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it if you have any questions thoughts or if you're stuck in installing it let me know and i'll be happy to help and if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps thanks for watching